Fun fact, Hopkins High School, I'm the only crew member of HHS TV that showed up today. Yeah. Hello Hopkinton High School. For HHS Today, I'm your host, Nate Shingleton. Today we'll start off with an announcement from the Investment Club. They are putting together a stock picking challenge. The fun starts the week of the 13th, so check this out. Hi, my name is Alex Wojak. And I'm Ben Chere. And we are here for the Investment Club to announce the stock picking challenge, which will take place from March 13th, which is a Monday, until March 17th, which is a Friday. In this competition, you can choose a publicly traded company, and over the course of the week, we will measure its growth. Uh, and the winning stock, the one with the most growth, will win the competition. Here to explain more is Ben. So it's a fairly easy competition for everyone to take a part of, even if you don't know anything about stocks. Um, all you got to do is, is click on the link here and it'll bring you to a Google form and all you got to do is fill out your email, your name, and any company that's publicly traded and we will track the growth. The winner of this competition will get a $25 gift card to Yogurt Beach in Hopkinton. So there's some real incentive here. Um, look out for us at lunches and the link will also be on uh, the student memo. So take a look there and, and yeah, hopefully you guys will all join. This will be a great competition. Thank you. That's awesome. And here's a link again. Or if it's our website, just click on it. Good luck or happy stock picking or whatever the appropriate idiom is. Coming up is our next regular segment, Minute with the Principal. Good morning, Hopkinton High School. Probably not the principal you were expecting, but Mr. Bishop was kind enough to offer me a few seconds to say hi and also to tell you that, unlike Mr. Bishop, I prefer my cheese cubed. At HMS, we've watched with great pride and admiration all you have accomplished as students, people, and athletes. Thank you to the Ignite leaders for the inspiring words of advice that you are offering to our students during our weekly video news show. And speaking of video news, we've been extremely impressed with HHS today. Chris, I'm not surprised that you've become a regular host. Congratulations to the hockey team for a tremendous season. We're recording this on Wednesday, so we don't know tonight's result of the girls' basketball team, but we're proud of how far you have advanced. I'm also thrilled at the success of the Hop Kinetics team, qualifying for Worlds. Last week, Mrs. Grady and I had the opportunity to see several students in the library for the Science and Engineering Fair. There's so much to be proud of, and we applaud all the work that you all do. This coming weekend brings the HHS drama production of An Enchanted Evening. Looking ahead to next week, Unite Trivia is on Wednesday, and to highlight, I'm sure, the talent show on Thursday. Thanks for allowing me to drop by. Have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. Let's spend a minute with Miss. Janino, to tell us about a Twitter account that provides a window into the Hopkinton Visual Art Department from K to 12th grade. Hi, I'm Mrs. Janino, the Visual Art Subject Matter Leader for K through 12 in the Hopkinton Public School District, and I'm also a teacher at Hopkinton High School. So we're here to talk about the Twitter feed that you help maintain. Yes. So when you get there, you can expect to find an array of different things from student artwork at the high school, student artwork all the way down to Elmwood and Center School, um, announcements congratulating students on their achievements such as the Scholastic Art Awards, and also um, postings about local competitions, um, call for art, interesting articles that we may find, and things that are going on in all of the art rooms, K-12. I am the lead contributor on the at Hop Arts handle, but many of the other art teachers have their own handle. So what I do is every now and then I check in using TweetDeck and I check in and see what other people have posted and I retweet. The most interesting part of this feed is when I get to post student artwork or retweet student artwork. Sometimes there's just artwork in the moment so for example, this is Lauren Ness, student at the high school, and I happen to be walking through um, the AP and Studio Art 5 class and saw this print in the moment. This feed was created for the public to view, for the high school, for the community, to see what goes on in our art rooms in the moment over the course of the year. Um, and it's, it really is for everyone to appreciate. Now don't forget to follow them at twitter.com slash h-o-p-a-r-t-s because we all need art and they're very cool 
And now it's time for a question of the day. Today we're asking, what's your motto? Um, my personal motto is never to tickle a sleeping dragon. And if you know what that's from, then you're awesome. Uh, live every day like it's your last. Movies. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Kelly Clarkson. Everybody's, somebody's, everything. Chance the Rapper. <laughs> to live life happily without any regrets. Live hard, work hard. Okay, right, my personal motto is never assume anything. All right, that brings us to our last item. Have you seen this? This is a photo from somewhere in the school. Have you seen it? Send us an email by March 20th and you may win a prize. And that, as they say, is a wrap. Visit our webpage at hcam.tv slash hhstv for links to the Investment Club Challenge and the Hop Arts Twitter feed, and maybe some new online-only content. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another episode. If you have stuff we should know about, suggestions for what we should be doing, complaints, or just tell us how cool we are, let us know at hhstv at That's it for now. We'll see you next time.